You are listening to the Crazy Town Podcast, Are You Urban Anthologies, Volume 2, the Chachmeyer Trilogy. Chachi. So this is uh, the three episodes that have Chachmeyer. One was the original Are You Urban with the Beardy Five Guys, but then the other two with Chachmeyer. So we're going to get into it so everybody can watch Chachmeyer put up his virtual Urban Dukes <laughs> against TNT Dynamite. Enjoy the show, everybody. special edition of the crazy town podcast which is the are you urban anthology volume two i am your host jonas and i'm here with tnt dynamite the explosive one tnt dino m a g h t thanks for uh doing this uh intro with me tnt for our special Chachmeyer edition of the Are You Urban Anthology. We're, we're both here. We're dedicated to yeah. every win that I have put down. So yeah, I'm yeah. going to be present Spoiler for every alert, win. I guess, yeah. But uh, yeah, so this is the three episodes of Are You Urban that Chachmeyer was on with TNT Dynamite. Want to get all the Are You Urbans in one place. Uh, thank you for listening and checking it out. Maybe you've heard these before. Maybe you haven't. But uh, make sure you follow us on Twitch for all... The season three of the Crazy Town Podcast, twitch.tv forward slash Crazy Town Media. Also, Crazy Town Media on YouTube. That's our YouTube channel and at Crazy Town Media on Twitter. That's if you follow all three of those, you can't go wrong. You can get everything <laughs> Crazy Town Media has to offer, which is a lot. Yeah, get it there. Get it for your house. Get the Crazy Town Periodical. Oh. Newspapers. Yeah, that's hip. <laughs> we used to do that. Put out a newspaper. Yeah, let's do it. That'll be profitable. Crazy Town Magazine. Cra- cra- like FHM. <laughs> what was that? Maxim? That was a real popular magazine yeah, for a long time. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get right into it. There's the back-to-back-to-back episodes with Chachmeyer of Are You Urban? And we'll touch base at the end. Enjoy the show, guys. Touch base. Hey, we're going to touch bases. Enjoy. It starts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we are here on the Crazy Town Podcast. We are now joined by the Beardy Five Podcast for the first ever edition of Are You Urban? Sid and Jess, say hello to everybody. Tell them where they can find your show. Happy to be here. What up? You can find our show on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, anywhere podcasts are found. It's all about beer to beer, bullshit, bitching, and brotherhood. New episode every Friday. We're also on Ace Podcast Network. With uh, Jonas and the Crazy Town podcast. If you're looking for a boatload of bullshit, folks, you found it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this game is called Are You Urban? It's an urban dictionary based game. I'm either going to read you guys the word and you have to try to give us the definition or give you the definition and you have to try to guess the word. We'll go one at a time. The, uh, the more the, the order you are, if the farther you go down the line, the more points you get for your answer being correct. If no one gets it correct, I'm just going to give someone a point for being creative or funny or whatever. Does that sound pretty easy? Sound good. I'll just start with uh, Sid. You can go first, all right? Okay. The first definition, a term used to describe massive modification of something to make it stand out and look attractive. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, that. an example is I'm going to blank my cellular phone by covering it with a 3D skinned panel. <sighs> oh, I know this one. Peacock. <laughs> Peacock it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were going to bust out the buzzer on me. <laughs> I feel like a loser now. Oh, that's a family feud buzzer. All right, TNT, it's up to you. You got it? I believe the term that you're looking for, Jonas, is pimp. 
Oh, yeah, it's, it's pimped out, but yeah, I'll give I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Thank you. That was super easy. <laughs> I can see you fucking asshole over here. <laughs> Doing good. You're doing good. This is beautiful. We'll roll on to uh on to dynamite this time. What is strapping? Strapping? Yes. That's uh usually uh in reference to a young male. Uh, it is when he's young, virile, and full of zealous energy. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Jesus, I thought you were going to go with strapping gats, dude. I thought you were fucking... No, I was trying to confuse you. My mind is That's right. exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, TNT Our, Urban Mike. Jesus, he's fucking up 3 nothing on you. Maybe we should have played all three of you guys versus him. I told you the extro that I, I, had, I had an upper hand in this, this criteria. I think he's got a mean nickname. It, it, Ur, Urban Dynamite? TNT Urban Might. <laughs> Jess, what this, up? This is for you. It's a definition one. It it is a patch of hair that causes nothing but trouble. Men expect women to shave it, but god damn it, it itches. Bush. I'll give you Bush. It was gone for pubic hair, but yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good job. I wasn't thinking Bush. I was thinking maybe like a a mustache or something. Oh, don't go there. Do not go there. Chach, here we go. This is a this is a word. This one may go all the way around. What is chop? Chop? Chop. The the uh, the uh, sentence is man this kid was fully trying to blank Oh shit! Yeah, mainly this kid was fully trying to chop me last night, and now we're dealing. What? <laughs> wow. What the fuck? Um. Jesus. Um. Three it seconds. It has, no, has nothing to do with religion. Uh, I. Three. Uh. Two. Yeah. Uh, Buzzer. Ah. Uh, all right, Sid. Man, you jinxed me right off the bat. You said this one's going to go around. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, send it to one more time here. Man, this kid was fully trying to chop me last night, and now we're dealing. Flapping his jaw. In regards to? Drugs. Drugs? All right. Nope, that's not it either. Dynamite? Uh, can, can I have this, the country of origin? <laughs> it's the United States. <laughs> Uh, can I have the spelling of the word? <laughs> Shock, F-U-C-K. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking that chop means to speak ill of another individual with the purpose to slander their good name. <laughs> Jesus, no, no, no. Fuck, I gotta give myself the buzzer? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jess, it's up to you, man. Are you going to get it? A chop is a backhanded smack. That That's about the fucking best answer I've ever heard. <laughs> I, that is, that's not correct either, but I will give Jess the point on the out of the creativity. It is the art of trying to get a girl to go out with you and getting her digits by Sim 1. I, you know what? <laughs> Never. <laughs> you guys got to remember, these are random people putting these fucking words down on the uh, thing. Oh, so, that's, that's fine. All right. I knew it was going to get obscure eventually, but let's go. All right. Sid, back to you. Start it out. The words that sound like gunshots ringing from a drive-by. Baguette, baguette. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, not that. Afraid not, sir. All right. TNT? Oh, Jesus, I don't fucking know. I'm going to go with bang, Pat. <laughs> No, bang is not the right word. All right, all right, that's right. Josh? Uh, I was going to go with pop. Pop? Ooh, oh, ooh. no, 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 that's not right either. Uh, Jess? Blocka, blocka. <laughs> nope, you guys are all, all going to fucking... Damn it! Rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. 
Oh, what oh, the fuck? Oh. That's a dancing turtle. <laughs> no, that's what Dr. Dre said. That's not true. Yeah, I didn't know we were going, like, mid to late 90s. It can go anywhere, dude. I'll give that one for you for Trotch. Like, 1950s Urban Dictionary? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put your hands up, cop. All right, tat tat. This, this shit can range forever. All right. TNT. You go first on this one, right? What is yee yee ass? <laughs> You know what's really <laughs> funny is that I actually know the answer to this, but I don't remember. Yee Yee is uh Yee Yee ass. There's ass. Oh, in the of it. I know, I know. I'm trying to remember because I actually do know what this means. I've heard it so many times. This is a meme. Uh, Yee Yee is is uh, a the, the definition escapes me. It, it means like if you're if you're fake or fraudulent, fugazi. Uh, not acting real in nature. Not acting real in nature? Yes. No, that is not correct. <laughs> I know the answer to this, though. I really do. All right, Jess, what do you got for yee ass? Is it another term for, like, stank ass? No, I could get that, though, for being <laughs> stinky ass. Chach? Um, I'm going to go with big ass? I don't know. Nope. Nope, that's not it either. Big ass. All right. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, Sid, uh, can, you, can you get it? Yee ass means smiling to my face and running your mouth behind my back. <laughs> Is that right? Because that with, right. with his yee ass. <laughs> no. See, not... even you've been right in the sentence. <laughs> that is not the correct answer, but I will give him that point for that. The answer is... <laughs> the answer... Submitted by Pandaboo411 on September 24th, 2013, is that. something that looks extremely horrible. Fuck! See, I knew that! Fuck you, Pandaboo! <laughs> I, I actually dated a Pandaboo one time. <laughs> How'd that turn out? It, well, she was kind of a yee ass. <laughs> we split. <laughs> All right, we're on to the next one. Right now, the score is TNT three, Jess two, Sid and uh, Chach one. So we're still a close game, still anybody's game. Jess, you got first on this one. What oh, is shit. a Sergeant Lumpington? A jackass? No, it is not a jackass. Chach? A Sergeant Lumpington? Sergeant Lumpington. That sounds like a like a drink that's been sitting in your room too long and has some <laughs> shit growing in it. <laughs> that is not the right answer, but I like where you're going with that. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, Sid? It may just be a fat boy. Ah. That's another good guess, but no. Dynamite? All right. Uh, I think a Sergeant Lumpington is a, uh, a military officer who has reached the rank of sergeant, and uh, he has a severe case of acne. Jesus. <laughs> that is very specific. <laughs> is that not right? Very specific, although Sorry. not correct. <laughs> a Sergeant Lumpington, according to J Rob Madfresh, is a guy who is really cool. <laughs> you, know best, you know the best part about this whole game is the people who put the definitions on there. <laughs> right. J Rob Madfresh? We, yep. So far, we've had Panda Boo and Mad Fresh. Who is up first this time? Is it Chach? Yep. Oh, All right. Jesus. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm going to give you a definition again. This comes from the streets, man, often referred to in rap songs. It indicates that the blank have to be up or on top of things and keep the hoes blank. Thought to have originally from pimps who would say it to indicate to their whores were on their backs making money for the pimps. Often said that when the greeting a fellow G or upon entering a room or a party, meant to reassure. Oh. It is a it is a phrase. I know this one. I, I need the I need the first part of that. I didn't expect <clears throat> it to be that long again. Okay. <clears throat> this comes from the streets, man. Often referred to in rap songs, it indicates the need to have the gangsters blank or on top of things and keep the hoes blank. Thought to have originated from pimps who would say to indicate their whores were on their backs making money for the pimps. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> no idea. I want to kind of, I kind of want to go back to the, one of the other ones and say strapped, but. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
No, that's that's I I'm I'm uh, got a blanket. I'm, I'm, it's all right. I'm not... Three, two. Yeah, I'm I'm one. gonna go with strap. I don't care. Strap. Oh, no. Back to that. No, nope, it's not strap. And uh, Sid, it's... what about you? Okay, did you say it's often a greeting on the street? It says it says, at the end. It says it often is a greeting to a fellow G upon entering a room or a party. What is what's good? Ah, no. Nope, nope. Good good guess. Dynamite? <laughs> well, obviously, Jonas. We're talking about G's up, hose down. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely what it was. Thank you, thank you. That is absolutely what it was. So three points for you for getting in on the third person, which now puts you up six to two to two to one. This is, this so, is awful. <laughs> I'm such a fucking millennial sometimes. I swear to God. <laughs> Here he goes again. Here we go. This is the last question, and then I'll have one one bonus final round question. All right, Jess, we'll go with you with the first one. Damn it. It's a definition word, and you. it's a definition. Give whatever you want to make. It is a special kind of love given to people who suck. Uh, tell <laughs> love? <laughs> Nope, not tough love. <laughs> Some bitch. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> all right, uh, we'll go with uh, we'll go with Sid. Special kind of love, you know, the people who suck. I, I just have to say, I feel like I've been set up here. <laughs> <laughs> e too. Oh uh, shit. Own? Nope, not not own. No, that's not a special kind of love. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dynamite. A special kind of love given to someone who sucks. Oh, here we go. Bust out the big answer. So, what do you... <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to have to say, uh... Holy shit, man. Give me an answer. Give me some... I don't know, man. Sorry. <laughs> Where's this fucking timer? All right, it's fuckboy love. <laughs> oh my god. I know it's wrong. Fuck you. <laughs> Give me the buzzer. Buzzer yourself. Do it. I'll buzzer my goddamn self again. Don't think I won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chach. What about you? You got anything? One more time. I, I... <laughs> A special kind of love given to people who suck? Example is you suck, I blank you. Uh, I'm just not. I just. I don't have my urban hat on today, evidently. Um, <laughs> okay. Two. One. Loathe. I don't know. Loathe. Oh, close, dude. Fair. The answer is hate. Damn it. What <laughs> the that fuck? Was That's that was the antithesis of love, Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> if there's a spectrum between love and the word that you are trying to garner from us, that word is at the opposite end of that of said <laughs> spectrum. That's all. That's how you gotta be urban, dude. You gotta fucking know which way you gotta go. <laughs> it's the Urban Dictionary. All right, one final question. The final round. It's it's gonna be worth five points, and it's basically gonna be me giving the points because I don't think any of you are gonna get this right, anyways. The answer is the definition. I need what is the scariest fucking thing on earth. So go ahead and take a second, and I'll go ahead and uh, and I'll get you guys. Should I play the Jeopardy music now? <laughs> no, no we don't. <laughs> I don't know. We might get content ID match. Right, right, right. So, all right, we'll start with what? Right, say again. What is the the scariest the, the, the scariest, scariest what... fucking thing on earth? So I'm mm. giving out the points if none of you get this answer by Raelius, submitted on July fifteenth, two thousand five. Okay. I, I already know what it is for me, me personally. All right, we'll go with Sid. Go ahead. What's the scariest fucking thing on Earth? What is, fuck boy? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was a joke. Okay. Uh, I like that. That was a good one. Let's see. I uh, like the callback, though. Scariest fucking thing on Earth? Blowfuck. A what? Blowfuck. Uh, Blowfuck. I don't Holy even know shit. what that is. <laughs> it sounds scary. That sounds like something we need to look up on Urban Dictionary. <laughs> yeah, no shit. All right, try Chach, what's the scariest fucking thing on Earth? Smegma. <laughs> what the fuck is Smegma? Well, I have to buzz you, Chach. That is, that is a really good answer. 
What the? I don't even know what the fuck that is. What is that? That's, that's fucking the, uh, that is the cheesy, like, discharge that shows up underneath the foreskin when, uh, proper hygiene isn't utilized of an oh, uncircumcised male. Oh, that's fucking male. disgusting. Yeah. Oh, God. It's, it's fucking scary. Right. Oh, that's gross. It's All right. scary. Jess, what about you? Scariest fucking thing on Earth. Now, this is just me. I'm gonna go with, what is Pennywise the Clown? Oh, God. <laughs> that motherfucker scares the hell out of me. <laughs> that is pretty scary. <laughs> and what about you, Dynamite? What is the scariest fucking thing on Earth? Well, I think we all can agree here is that the scariest thing in the world would be to go to prison and be gang raped by a group of men. Oh, God, that's pretty fucking is, bad. Is that Damn. not it? <laughs> That that just went hardcore right there. Tell me that shit's not scary though. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give the five points to the gang rape. I'm sorry. I'm a very special part in my soul for gang rape. That I guess prison tough. gang rape. I, I, I think I would give him the points too. <laughs> Hands so, down. So the very first inaugural game of Are You Urban goes to TNT Dynamite with a grand total of eleven points. I'm, Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not what, surprised. What's the scariest thing, though? What's the scariest thing? <laughs> he said, as according to Raelius, it was a robot. What? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's why I said you got none of you guys would get it. It would just be all of our answers are scarier than that. <laughs> no shit. Exactly. Can I ask another question too? Absolutely. What's up? <laughs> what is a blowfuck? I don't know. Did somebody look it up? You don't want to find out. A blowfuck oh. is a motherfucker that lies all the time. Oh, oh that's okay. I like it. Right. I, I, I like I'll, that. I'll be submitting that next week. <laughs> I'll be looking. <laughs> and by, by the way, I am Panda Boo. Oh, oh shit. I, I, I'm just. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> I am Panda Boo. Well. That is all the time we have for this first episode of Are You Urban? Beardy Five Guys, I want to thank you for joining us again on the show. Thank you for having us. No problem. Do you want to tell everybody again where they can find your podcast? Uh, you can go to acepodcast.com. We're right there with Jonas. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel. We're starting to put some more videos up. All right. Well, we will be right back. The Crazy Town Podcast. And we are back on the Crazy Town Podcast for the matchup of the century, folks. It's the, <laughs> it, it is the one... Play I, I a tiger. I, dun, 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 dun. Okay. It is a rematch. If you listen to episode 18 of season one, we did a trial run of our new game called Are You Urban? It was uh, Chachmire versus TNT Dynamite, and we also had Sid and Jess of the Beardy Five Podcast, which you can find at the Beardy Five on Twitter. Great podcast. Love those guys. So anyways, <clears throat> how Are You Urban works is it's an urban dictionary-based game. I will ask the guys a question, and it will either be the, the word itself, and they have to give me the definition, or I will give them the definition, and they have to give me the word. Now, mind you, this is all from some random asshole on Urban Dictionary, so it really could be anything in the world. If the first person misses the question, the second person gets a chance to answer. The first person would get one point. If the second person gets it, they get two. If either person gets the question right, I pick someone who I thought had a better answer, and they get one pity point from me. Do you guys remember? You guys think you're good? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let's, let's go. All right. Uh, Chachmar, since you're the, since you're the challenger, those pity points. Uh, pick a number between one and ten. Seven. Dynamite, pick a number. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pick number eight. All right. The number was six. So, Chachmar, do you want to go first or do you want to go second on the, on the, with getting asked questions? I'll go second. Go second? Okay. Yes. <clears throat> All right. See what I'm up against here. TNT Dynamite. <laughs> There's going to yep. be, okay, guys, there's going to be six words that have the de the word, and you have to give me a definition. There's going to be four that I'm going to give you the definition, you have to give me the word. There's ten total questions, and then whoever has most points wins. This first one is I'm giving you the word. This was right. submitted by Mandel Hater on July 1st, <laughs> 2003. TNT Dynamite, what is or what are Mandel's? 
Mandels. Mandels. Can I have the spelling of that? M-A-N-D-A-L-S. Mandels. Mandels are the act of wearing sandals with socks, similar to the way a dad would wear his sandals. And Damn it! <laughs> All right, that was wrong. I'm going to go with, like, a fatty part of the body that can be grabbed onto, like a love handle. <laughs> oh, actually, you're both wrong, was, but but I, was... I like Chacha's answer better, but TNT's <laughs> answer was closer to what the actual answer is. A mandal yeah. is a man's sandal that consists of brown or black leather that covers more than 50% of the foot. 50% mm. of the foot. It's like those, it's not a flip flop, it's like the sandal that covers like the entire front end of the, sh- of the, uh, of the foot. So it's like a, like a slip on. Kind of ah. like a slip on sand, yes. Alright. Ah. Yes. So, alright. So, points to, uh, TNT Dynamite. One, Chachmire zero. Next word. Damn it. Chachmire. What is hacks? H-A-X. It was submitted by Sloppy Joe on August sixteenth, two thousand five. I would I'm instantly I'm gonna go with like chop. Like hacks and chop. Like chopping something, as in like chopping yes. Okay. No, that's that's not right. I, I didn't think so, but that, that's immediately where I went. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> hey, where's your buzzer last round? I, I, I missed it last round. Yeah, <laughs> um, of course. All right, give me give me the word one more time. Hacks. H A X. Hacks. That is a special bit of programming that goes into games, and which give you the upper hand against your opponent. As like as in hacking a game. Uh yeah. Yeah. Okay, that is incorrect as well. The act, the actual answer is <laughs> by Sloppy Joe is when someone has an unfair advantage over you. What? What the hell, dude? <laughs> so hey, cool. hey, hey, take that up with Sloppy Joe. Don't take that up that with Jonas. Really, that was really, really close, though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I am gonna have to give you a close point on that one again because you're actually somewhat <laughs> close. So two to nothing. Chachmeyer, there's a lot of time to come back. <laughs> I know, man. I'm rusty, Chach. Just wait until I get this rust off, and then it's fucking game over. All right, TNT. Are you ready? Ah, yeah, I'm ready. All right, this is one where I'm gonna give you the definition, and you have to give me the word. Easy every day. <laughs> the act. <laughs> oh wait, oh, let me tell you. It's that the user was I hate bad music on January twenty fifth, two thousand nine. Uh-huh. The act of having a penis inserted your ear is called. Oh, <laughs> it's the uh, uh, the meat tip. No, not the Q tip. The sausage Q tip. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the uh, a penis inserted to your ear. Is uh, you can hear me coming. <laughs> you can hear me coming. <laughs> is that what, yeah. is that yeah, what it is? Let me give you the. Let me hear you coming, girl. Can you use that in a sentence? <laughs> um, could you put your dick in my ear so I can hear you coming? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. That, no, that that's incorrect. Yes. <laughs> All right, Chachmar. I almost want to say like a wet willy. <laughs> It's <laughs> pretty good. I'm, 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 I'm going to give Chachmar the point for the pity point, but no, you both you both got it wrong. the The actual word is broken side. What the fuck? B r o k e n c y d e. The act of having a penis inserted into your ear. That doesn't even make sense. But all right. Uh, hey, you know, when we're dealing with Urban Dictionary, we're not looking for sense. Right, exactly. All right. Need- all right, Chachmar, same, same okay. thing. Uh, this, th- okay, this was submitted by Depelmischer on April 24th, 2003. <laughs> Good old Depelmischer. Now, let me give you guys a preface on this one. There's a vast variety of words that could be correct. I'm looking for this particular word. So if you don't get it, I'm going with whoever gives me the best answer. The definition is 
A derogatory term used to sum up the existence of a worthless asshole. God. Oh. The secondary definition? A penis. <laughs> what was the first definition again? <laughs> <laughs> A derogatory term used to sum up the existence of a worthless asshole. Now there's a there's uh, a little bit there's a little bit of a hard of a hard point here, Chuck, because this person is an asshole and a penis at the exact same time. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> I'm telling you, when you hear it, you're gonna be like, Oh, that fits. That's very yeah, that's actually a All right, Chachma, are you ready? Got something for me? That just, that just makes me want to say like dickhead. It it isn't dickhead. Okay. But, but TNT? Uh, wow. Well, what I brought forward with them being an asshole and a dick at the same time, is it Bumbaclot? <laughs> <laughs> pity, Bumba point, pity point for you, but no. The answer we were looking for is prick. God, oh, shit. Uh, that prick okay. stole my girlfriend. That was, makes was, sense. was the example sentence. So it does make sense. Yeah, it, it does. does. All right, all right. So this one is TNT. The word. It's a word. You got to give me the definition. Well, it's a phrase. Right. It was submitted by Carmano, September eighteenth, two thousand ten. Okay. What is reaching Pretty on a much. double? Reaching on a double. Hmm. <clears throat> Can I get the uh, the country of origin? Uh, yeah. America. Okay, good. That helps. That helps actually. <laughs> reaching, reaching on a double. Um, is that the act of coming up behind your girlfriend and grabbing both breasts with full palmed hands? <laughs> no, reaching that, on a double. That is incorrect. Fuck. Shashmar? I like that though. I like that though. Yeah, um, I, I try. It's either that or testicles, Chuch. It's well, <laughs> if you got a double. It it sounds like like you're about to double your money, like you're gambling. Like, Ooh. oh, okay, okay. I like I like the sound of that, but it is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I will give I'll give the pity point to TNT just because he talked about tits. Yeah, tits oh. always win, Chuch. <laughs> All right. The actual definition, according to Carmano, it's uh, getting too ambitious with a girl after getting to second base and then subsequently getting denied when trying to reach for third base. Oh. oh okay. See, Chach, I'm, I'm in the ballpark, Chach. You gotta get in the ballpark. Right. In my that's defense, key, the three points I've given right him there. are all there because he's like generally in the area oh. of the correct definition. Yeah, I'm in the ballpark. <laughs> All right, Kachmeyer, here we go. What is, going. I should say, this This was submitted by Muffin Queen on September 11th, 2004. What is, or should I say, who is Stoner Claws? Uh! <laughs> who is Stoner Claws? Yes. One I actually fucking know, finally. Is he like a Santa Claus that comes like the night before 420? <laughs> that is actually motherfucking correct. That is fucking <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I don't have a correct sound. <laughs> I know. I'll go ding, 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 ding. All right. It says every year on 419. Of course I got that right. Yeah. yeah. Every, <laughs> the definition is every year on 419, Stoner Claus travels to young stoners' homes and fills their empty Altoids tins with weed, ready for when they wake up on 420. <laughs> The Altoids. <laughs> I love the details. And then, and the <laughs> sentence, the sentence is, "Mommy, how come Stoner Claus always gives me less weed than he gives Johnny?" <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, so the score now is four for Big TNT time. and two for Trash. <laughs> so it's yeah. anybody's game still. We still got four words left to go. All right, this is another right. one where I'm gonna give you the the answer, and then. Uh, you give me the word or the phrase. This was submitted by your mom on March 29th, 2003. Shout out to my mom. Uh, <laughs> the, the, uh, the, 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 the definition is what you say in response to any question. Wow. Okay. Uh, 
what you say in response to any question, uh, whatever they want to hear. Uh, and Is that right? No, buzz it. Buzz it. <laughs> All right, Josh, I didn't want to. Uh, if you get this right, you'll tie. <laughs> yeah, good, good luck. <laughs> Repeat, please. What you say in response to any question. I'm going to go with the word what. <laughs> I used to say that to my wife all the time, so I'll give you the pity point for that. Say that that's something you go, what? Like you don't know what they said, right. but that is wrong. You hear right. noise? Coming. What? You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna kick yourself. This was submitted Answer. by your mom on March 29, thousand three. What do you say in response to any question? Your mom. Ah! <laughs> the answer was in the username. Wow. Uh, all right, it's four to three. Trashmire, you, like have, you have a chance. You have a chance to, to tie it up. Uh, here's the word. What is stir crazy? Stir crazy. It was submitted by Max Zilla on April twelfth, two thousand five. Max Zilla. God, okay. stir crazy. Uh huh. I would probably go for the more literal definition. Be like, I don't know, kind of like that, like. When you're watching a movie and somebody, like, falls in love, they're, like, stir crazy. Is that what it is? That is incorrect. Incorrect, okay. TNT. I would. I didn't the spiel, expect it. For two points. <clears throat> All right. Stir crazy. This is, uh, this is obviously the act of spending far too many, <clears throat> far too much money at the local Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> the point. Just buzz it. Just buzz it. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Just, I'm cutting you off. You're about to get ridiculous. Not, um, Star <laughs> not Starbucks. All right. I w it's not Starbucks, and I fucking hate Starbucks, so I'm going to give the point to fucking Chachmeyer. You guys are tied. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Two questions left. And it's pity is on my side. It's come down. It comes down to these two. Rigged. TNT Dynamite. What is this? Was this? This was submitted by Head on November twenty ninth, two thousand three. I love Head. Who doesn't love Head? Fucking love it. Holy shit! Any of our if any of our listeners want to send me Head. Actually, I want to hear from any of our listeners that don't like Head. Yeah, I don't think that exists. <laughs> right? I don't think that All right. Does. Here we go. What yes, is so. one hitter quitter? Oh, God. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're going to give go them an easy one. one. They're yeah, random. I mixed them up randomly, man. You got, <laughs> you got, you got stoner claws. <laughs> There's a bit of a layup. <clears throat> uh, one hitter quitter is a strain of marijuana – that is so potent that it is thought to be one hit is enough to get one high. That is correct. The what he ah. says, what he says was a way to describe some bomb ass chronic. Yeah, would yeah, Come on, <laughs> you know. He like, says, should, his sentence probably... is, "Let's go blaze some of that one hit or quitter shit." <laughs> they should probably come to me to write these definitions, man. I don't know what these people are. All right. Here we All go. All right, Chuck. It's five to four. Last question. Chachmar, was, wow. this was submitted by Caesar on July 19th, 2009. What is saucin? Saucin? Yes, saucin. Can you spell it? S-A-U-C-I-N. Um, is that when you're like spiking a drink? I'm saucing, I'm saucing, I'm saucing on you. That's my that, shot. My <laughs> shot. Sorry, that's that's actually incorrect. Buzz it. <laughs> oh shit! Oh god! Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice professional integrity there, sir. Yeah. <laughs> All right, TNT. You got to come up with a good one because if I give. Uh, Chachmire, the pity point, you'll be tied. So you better come up with something good. I, 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 I got a point, didn't I? 
It's five to four, but there's a pity point to be given. Oh, okay. Jeez, I better I should just get it right then. Um, saucin. This is an actual an actual slang term. And it's spelled S A is there an apostrophe at the end? Because this is important. Not li- not listed here, but it very well it very well could be the uh Because that means that it's it's actually this is important. Sauce, it's saucing. When when punctuation actually becomes important in Well slime. from what I understand from my <laughs> From the songs that I've heard, the term saucing, um, <laughs> it is a way of flaunting in, in, in a way that almost exude, exudes one's swag and own personal confidence in thine self and uh, projecting that onto the, the people who are noticing, watching, or jealous of one's own inherent swag. So to you know sauce- what? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give that to you. You're pretty fucking close. The, the actual definition is saucin is when you're just the flyest of the fly or whatever you have is fly. I'm saucin, I'm saucin. I'm, come on, man. That was an easy one, too. All right. Well, the final <laughs> score. Touchy handshake, man. You you came out swinging. He did, man. Up until, <laughs> he, was, he was in until the end. You know, what, I, what, I, what I realized from this game is I need to have 11 questions from here on out just in case there's a tie. There's a tie, yeah. Yeah, so I'll, the final score. Yeah, seven, I always have an odd number. Seven to four. So TNT Dynamite is now 2-0 and o all, all right. time. Uh, Chachi, Chachi, you are you are you are great, urban, a, a great what, opponent. Was, you was there any say. doubt? Was there any doubt? <laughs> you had TNT, a bunch of chance. T- TNT, tell me, tell me there near the end, you weren't a little worried. He may pull that shit out. I was a little worried until you gave me those two layups at the end. Hey man, <laughs> it's just how the cookies crumble, dude. I randomly put these together. I randomly put them in stacks. I, I let Chachmeyer yeah. pick whether he wanted first or second. Yeah, I mean, you so if he went first. He, he yeah, fucking he, put it in. He he would have had if 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 uh, Chachmeyer would have went first, he would have been the one that had one hitter quitter. So that's true. You know, God so. smiled on me this day. Did, question though, did did you know what Sawson was prior to looking it up? If someone would have asked me what Sawson is, uh, I probably would not have got it. No. No. I no. challenge you. To, I challenge you to listen to some Post Malone. Right? Post Malone. Well, you just sang me the song. I think I got it now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm sussing. I'm sussing. I'm sussing. <laughs> Oh my God! You have the voice of an angel. <laughs> right? I know. I, I gotta get. Well, everybody, look out! The the Jonas mixtape coming this spring. Oh, shit, it's the fire. <laughs> where's the Where's the <laughs> the fucking the fucking fog, yeah the foghorn. Oh shit! Foghorn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pop air horn. Yeah, 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 that's what I was getting. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was looking for. So, all right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and take a break real quick. We're going to come right back. The Crazy Town Podcast. All right, and we are back on the Crazy Town Podcast with Jonas, your host, and TNT Dynamite. Joining us once again for his seventh time on the show to play Are You Urban? Chachmeyer. Welcome back, buddy. Chachi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You think you got a shot to win uh, this? Are you urban this time? Pre- prepare for me to lose again. Well, <laughs> you, got, you, got you got this one in the bag. Chance. You got this one. Well, in I, the I, bag. I think I, I think I left my urban in Ohio. So, <laughs> <laughs> is that like, uh, isn't that a country song? I left my urban. <laughs> yeah, in Ohio. Yeah, probably. I left probably. my urban in Ohio. My Keith Urban CD. I left my I, Keith I, Urban CD in Ohio. <laughs> My, my many purpose. years of working at the liquor store got me got me my urban card, and I uh, think I've, I think it's like faded away. Yeah, you didn't renew. You, you didn't, re- oh, you didn't renew. renew it. It. I didn't That's renew. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's a hassle. Uh, shit too. expired. All right, I'm gonna see who goes first. Uh, Chachmar, give me a number between one and ten. Seven. Dynamite. I'm gonna pick Avogadro's number. What's that mean? One mole. One? Okay. It was six. Chachmeyer, do you want to go first or do you want to go second? Oh, God. Uh, second. Second? <clears throat> okay. For everyone listening at home that's never listened to us play Are You Urban before, it's an urban dictionary-based game. The way it works is I give the contestants either a word, 
and they give me the definition, or I give them a definition, and they try to guess the word. Now, these are completely submitted by random users on Urban Dictionary, so even if you think you know what it means, it may be the wrong answer. If you're the first person to attempt to answer and you get it correct, you get one point. If they get it wrong and the other person gets it right, they get two. If neither person gets it right, I give a pity point based on the best answer possible or the funniest answer or just if I would feel like giving pity to somebody. So you guys uh, ready to get started? Sure. Absolutely. All right. Dynamite. The President first word for. is yours. <clears throat> and if this was submitted July 10th, 2008 by Barnaby J. Jones. Mm -hmm. What is dinosaur sex? Dinosaur sex. Yes. Is the sexual act where both participating parties are over the age of 60 years old. Dinosaur <laughs> sex. That is incorrect, but I like where you're headed with is that. Is it wrong? That is wrong. I really thought that was going to be the right answer, too. Chachmeyer, what do you got <laughs> for the steal? And that's what I was thinking, too. Um, <laughs> well, at least you know that's not it. Dinosaur sex. Um, is it... I don't know. Slow? <laughs> slow is it no. Uh, slow no that's wrong as well uh, Dynamite's <laughs> okay. gonna get the pity uh, point slow. <laughs> but according to Barnaby J dinosaur sex, sex is the act of fucking a girl on the dirt of in the ground on the woods behind her house then dropping a small boulder on her head and telling her parents she went extinct due to a meteor oh my fucking god <laughs> <laughs> the sentence which neither of you asked for I didn't want to go through the hassle of dumping Jill so I just had dinosaur sex with her instead oh yeah that would have helped <laughs> now that you say that I know exactly what the fuck it is <laughs> <laughs> alright gotta remember to ask for the country of origin every fucking time Josh Meyer. this was submitted by V. Villy on May 31st 2009 what is workabetes work -abetes? Yes. Like diabetes with work mixed in, yes, into the yes, work. Yes, yes, like work -abetes, yes, exactly. Yes. Definitely. Okay, um, is that where you're unable to work? Like you're capable of working, but you, you, you for some reason, can't? That is incorrect. I like where your head's at, but that's not correct. Dynamite for the steal? All right, man. Well, I'm familiar with, with one of those things, not because I have it. I just am familiar with it. So work of BDs, I think, is when a person has an allergic reaction to work, <laughs> where their body cannot process going to work. <laughs> How is that even possible? Well, that's what diabetes is. It's like your pancreas doesn't create enough insulin to handle the sugar, so your body can't produce enough insulin to handle work. You know, fuck you. That's wrong. <laughs> I don't like right. to look at you. What was, Josh, what was your answer again? I completely forgot because this one was so... <laughs> it was basically the same thing. It was basically the same thing, yeah. <laughs> you say Do I have to give myself a point again? I mean, what is it? The answer is when you bring your work home with you and you can't spend time with your family or friends because you have too much work to do at home. Work of BDs. How is that work of BDs? That's just oh, like yeah. being, that's According like being... to V. Villy, this is work of BDs, and it's V. Villy's word right now well, and his world. I don't want to go against what V. Villy says. Well, since you're, you're, <laughs> since you're cutting down on V. Villy, Chachmeyer gets the pity point. You can fucking have it. I'm not, I'm, v. Villy's a fucking cuck. <laughs> <laughs> v. Villy is a cuck. That's absolutely true. All right. <clears throat> this one is a definition. You have to give me the word, TNT. This was submitted. Wow. This one's over 15 years old. A uh, Giannato, and in parentheses, Snipe is his name. Oh, yeah, of course. November 3rd, 2002. Requiring a lot of attention, is the individual is emotionally needy or prone to over-dramatizing -dram a situation to gain attention. It's an adjective. Is, 
You know I want to say your your name so bad, but I'm not going to. Is it, <laughs> Jonas, is it Jonas's mom? <laughs> no, I was just gonna say you. Oh. Uh, can I can I get the, can I get the? Uh, I I can't have it in a sentence, can I? Uh, oh yeah, you can no. blank it out. Just blank it. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's. I mean, although he was a nice boy, his low self esteem made him blank. That's that's what a Giannato parentheses snipe. All right, said. so it's it's like a pronoun. Obviously, it's an adjective. It's a, it's a describing word. Someone is this. It was. Yeah, I mean, I guess it could be a noun a, technically. A, it's a pronoun. A pronoun, whatever. Anyway, um, I'm gonna have to say it made him a uh, asshole. <laughs> no, it's, not, an it's, asshole. Not, it's not correct. It's not asshole. You sure? Shachmeyer, you got a you got an idea? What was the what was the first? Definition Re- requires a lot of attention. The individual is emotionally needy or prone to over dramatizing a situation to gain attention. Oh, see, I could have thought of something else there. Uh, I'm just gonna go with like, like drama queen. Oh, so fucking close. High it's- maintenance. High maintenance. High Damn. maintenance, dude. See, I was gonna say little bitch, but yeah, high maintenance makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That is an adjective more than anything else. Yeah. 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 Well, you said he's a high maintenance. Makes there... him. Oh, blank. makes him. Bl- oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All, All right. right. Chach right. his point. He's up two to one. Oh shit! Don't fucking look at me like that. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> All right. This yeah. one. <laughs> this Can't one. Even fucking me look. Chachmeyer. This was submitted by Jim, March eighth, two thousand five. Good old Jim. Yes. Um. It's a it's a phrase. I'm gonna give you the definition. You have to tell me. It's not a phrase. A stalker's dream come true. <laughs> it is a thing. It is a thing. Do 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 do. I just picture Wheel of Fortune. I'm sorry. Stalker's dream come true. I'd like to buy a vial. <laughs> F you. <laughs> what about the sentence here? Um. Let me see if I can give it to you without giving it away. Um, mm-hmm. I can't. I can't. You do can't it, do it. I can't okay. give you the sentence. It'll give it away. Man. I respect that. Actually, <laughs> you got to go. Stalker's blind. dream come true. It'll all make uh, sense when you guys hear what it is for sure. A stalker's <laughs> dream come uh, true. GPS tracking on a phone. That's a good guess, but that's not. Guess. That's not. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good. It's a good college try. All right, TNT, what you got? A stalker's dream come true. Come true. Oh man, is it Tinder? So close. It's Facebook. 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 Damn. <laughs> I'll give you the pretty point because you had a social yeah, media I was fucking. Close. I was you like, had yeah. social media. It was like Tinder that. just make Tinder makes it easy for stalkers. Honestly, it's yeah. like why do I even have to stalk? Well, because at least on Facebook yeah, they fucking yeah. give you all the information. Yeah, that's true. All right, T- TNT. Yep. This one was submitted by Matt from the Ply on March fourteenth, two thousand six. That guy. What is a slam pig? <laughs> I'm not comfortable with this. <laughs> I would like another word. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Chachmeyer. No, no. no. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, well, don't don't play the game, man. Nah, dude. Fucking give it to me in a sentence then, because I'm I'm uncomfortable with this. But I'm gonna give you the answer. In which I, I, I can't give you the sentence. You can't. It, you. It'll give it away what it is, man. Uh, well, I'll read the sentence uh, afterwards. I don't know okay. What I think it is. Though. All right. Well, you tell me, then I'll read the sentence Jesus. afterwards. All right, a nutritionally challenged, heavy set young lady that you acquiesce sexual intercourse with to fulfill your male libido. Is it a fat girl you fuck? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> You think, not... I, you think I would go there on the? On Why the... wouldn't you, dude? You remember the Melody Ping one? It was porno the whole way through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I should give that to you. 
I don't understand what I'm else not, it could be. I'm not going to give it to you. I don't know. Okay, I'll take buzzer. the buzzer, but I don't honestly, I don't know what else it could be. All right, all right. It better not be like fucking Canadian bacon or some shit. No, I'd be so no, no, fucking no. mad. Chachmire, do you have a guess what a slam pig is? See, I was kind of thinking that too, but I'm going to have to go with um, uh, kind of the same thing. Like, uh, uh, maybe like, maybe like a conjugal visit though. Like someone who's behind bars that is very easy. Chachi, have you been to prison before? <laughs> I, <laughs> you seem to know a little bit more about how this prison thing works. Than, All right, than because I was in, 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 like at first, I was thinking exactly what you said, and so then when he said it was wrong, I had to kind of redirect my brain and try and, to. And, and you know, I I'll I'll what? give you the pity point. Okay, and but. It's a girl that is such a slut and has been fucked so many times that most men realize she has some sort of disease and decide not to go near her. So it's not banging a fat girl. It's banging a disease-ridden whore. Mm. Do you think you earned the point? Do you think you deserve the point for that? Because you, you, you specific, make the decisions here. I, you specifically, I said, specifically said a large said a woman. Girl. You had said nothing about disease. Tom didn't even say what sex they were, but that's fine. You give him the point. <laughs> I thought Tom was talking about <laughs> fucking dudes behind bars, but okay. I thought he was talking about getting a hand job from your cellmate. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the slam, you the whole jail the route. But you know, oh, take that point. Here, hold this W. Here, hold. Hold this W, Chach. <laughs> trying to make it. <laughs> you ready? I'm born Chach, ready. Chach, you ready for your word? Yes. This is submitted to Urban Dictionary by Astro Fox, August 5th, 2016. Astro Fox. What is a paratext? God, a paratext. Paratext. Um. Paratext. Paratext. I don't like going first. Um. Do you not? <laughs> that's that's unfortunate because you're going first right paratext. now. Paratext. Is that like a a a, a text message that's very long and extensive. That's actually correct. It's a text message. Oh, oh that was right. Yeah, it was correct. That was when you send or receive a text that is so long, you have to scroll down. Paratext. Like a paragraph, like but a, a paragraph. Oh, yeah. see, I was thinking two texts. I should have. I would have had it spelled out. Okay. TNT Dynamite. This is a definition. <laughs> Submitted by Paul Soth, February 23rd, 2003. Okay. It's just a step to the left and then a step to the right. Put your hands on your hips. This is terrible. Put your knees in tight. But it's a pelvic, pelvic thrust, thrust that, that really, really drives, drives you insane. insane. Let's do the time warp again. <laughs> that is correct. Oh, it was Rocky. time warp. <laughs> oh, Rocky! I dated a girl who was super into that movie. I've seen it a million times. Really? Yeah. Uh, well, Chach, this was submitted by <laughs> the Burninator, <laughs> December nineteenth, two thousand three. <laughs> Fucking a legend on Urban Dictionary. The, the Burninator. Definition <laughs> is someone who can't figure out what a dumb fuck is. Someone who can't figure out what a dumb fuck is. Hmm. And. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Um. I see. I. Uh, mm. Um. Uh, I'm just going to. I don't know. A dumbass. Dumbass. No, that's not correct. Yeah. Now look. I, I didn't think so. If there's so. anything I know, it's millennial thinking. Is the answer dumb fuck? <laughs> the answer is dumb fuck. Like... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm 
for the steal with two as points. Soon as, as soon as I heard it, I was like, the answer's got to be dumb fuck. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Someone who can't figure out what a dumb fuck is. The answer, a dumb fuck. <laughs> Damn, I was, I was close. You were close. You, you were said close. dumb ass. You were, but... close. you were close. All right. TNT. This was sent in by A Town Down on June seventeenth, two thousand four. Peace up, A Town Down. A Town Down. Okay. What is a wanger? A wanger, dude. That's just a that's just a term for the male phallus. That's correct. Is that really? It? Yeah, that's really it. That's really it. That's really it. Wow. And because of that steal and that answer, Chach cannot win oh, the game. Oh, no, Chachi. I'm sorry. It's, right now, Chachi, it's six to four, job. and he has out. one more word left. So yeah. we'll do one more. You had me down in the first round, yeah, I swear. Yeah, he did. You, that fucking dumb fuck, that really came through clutch in the end, dude. All right. Yeah, that was a dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, Chachmeyer, your last word just for fun. From PDX Johnny ninety nine submitted April twelfth two thousand thirteen. What is room zooms? R o o m space z o o m s. Room zooms. Room zooms. Yes. I think I know what this is. Was that like the one of the wait wait what year? Two thousand thirteen. Ooh, near future, Chachi. Prime millennial territory. Five years ago. Prime. Five years ago. Well, three and a half. Yeah, four and a half years ago. Yeah. Is it like one of those, like, hoverboard things? (laughs) No, that would be awesome. (laughs) I want a fucking (laughs) hoverboard. (laughs) TNT for the steal. Oh, oh, wait. Let me give him his buzzer. Oh, give him his buzzer. Because he he earned this one. Um, Yeah. (laughs) Is it just a, a nickname for, like, house slippers? No, no, it's not. Okay. No, I thought you guys would get this. Wait, for sure. wait, 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 wait. wait I know this won't count. Get it. I will. I know this won't count. But is it? Is it like a Roomba? No, no, no. It's when you're okay. so fucked up and laying in bed and the room's spinning. You got room zooms. Yo, that's dumb as fuck. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that's, See, that's, dumb that's, as fuck. that's like that's like drug culture. I'll, I'll give I'll give Chach a pity point just to make it a six to five game. There we and, go. And uh, TNT Dynamite. I know, man. Still the reigning champion. The clutch. Dude, fucking, the listeners are going to start to hate me. You remember that guy? You're going to be like Jeopardy a Patriot. Won like twelve shows. In yeah, a row? Ken Jennings. <laughs> you remember his name? Yeah, because I hated him. <laughs> <laughs> you remember everybody you hate, right? I guess that's so. why everybody hates the New England Patriots because they win all the I'm time. The black Ken Jennings. I'm <laughs> fucking... everybody, everybody hates the winner. If you win a lot, everybody fucking hates you. It's just how yeah. it works, man. All right. So. Trotchmeyer, that's 0-3 on Are You Urban, man. But you know yeah. what? This isn't the UFC. We'll keep bringing you back. <laughs> this isn't the UFC. My <laughs> like contract up. got renewed. Yeah, we renewed Hell your yeah. contract. Trotch, you put but, up a great fight, man. You're always good to go against a solid competitor. It is. And Trotchmeyer, we do want to thank you for stopping by. This will be your this is your seventh appearance on the podcast, man. Seven fucking times. Yes. Becoming a regular yes, old uh, Trotchmeyer. It's it's a fucking barrel of laughs every time. A barrel of laughs. It is. I always love it when I get the Joni Chachi, uh, the Joni Chachi, Chachi combo here. Joni and Chachi. All right, everybody, and we will be right back on the Crazy Town podcast. Well, TNT. Yeah. Chachi Meyer put up a fight. Three times. Is that what you call a fight? Oh, <laughs> he can't, he's not even here to defend himself. <laughs> he wasn't there to defend oh, himself. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> so that was the three episodes with Chachmeyer. <laughs> I'm a god. You are, are you <laughs> Absolutely. So that is all the time we have for today's Are You Urban Anthologies. Uh, make sure you follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Crazy Town Media for all of the live season three episodes of the Crazy Town Podcast. We also are on YouTube under Crazy Town Media channel and at Crazy Town Media on Twitter. For Jonas, for TNT Dynamite, we are out. Mm-hmm.